Hey guys, in this one we're going to work on different weapons, but to start we're going to go to our zombie <clears throat> and we're going to just make it so that his um, attack comes in the middle of the animation. So we're going to control copy, control C, control V the delay and we'll put it, put it over here. And uh, we're going to do off attack delay divided by 2. And we'll connect that to both these delays. Alright, so there we go. Now they're um, their pushback should come in the middle of the animation rather than right away. There we go. See? Looks much better. So we'll also get rid of the uh, trace. We don't need to see that anymore. Alright, so that's taken care of. So let's do different weapons now. So how we're going to do this is we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it weapons. And we're going to have a, f a class that's an actor called base weapon. And uh, we're going to have children of this for each type of weapon we want. So we'll have like an M16 and all that. And uh, we're going to have uh, the weapon attached to the player right here instead of this gun. And uh, we'll tell the attached weapon to fire on the script instead of spawning stuff here. So to start, what we'll do is we'll make, go to our base weapon folder. I'll just drag this over here. And we're going to want a skeletal mesh for our root, so we'll drag this up here. And just for the default one, I guess we'll use the M16, or uh, rifle, assault rifle. And it's actually facing the wrong way by default, if I'm not mistaken. So you know what, we're going to add a scene, because I don't really want to rotate them all by hand right now, so this will be easier. So we'll rotate the skeletal mesh by hitting E. Now what we will do is we'll go to the skeleton here. We're going to add a socket. And we're going to have to do this for each gun. Uh, we could add an arrow, I guess, but we're going to have to set the arrow anyway. So let's just add a socket and not be lazy. So let's see, where is it? Why does this look different? New update changed this, I guess. Um, oh, no, it's because we're not in the skeleton. So no, this is different too. Oh my god, it's all different. You know what, we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to use an arrow. It's because I don't want to embarrass myself by looking at, trying to find where things were. Update changed it. So we'll just connect this. That's fine. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, doesn't need to be perfect, I guess, but uh, good enough. So we'll name this Muzzle. Name this weapon mesh. File save. All right. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Right, so what we'll do is we will, because the way it's set up is that there's two meshes and uh, there's one attached to the most controller and whatnot, or one attached to the first person view. And this is a VR game, but I want it to work with non-VR as well. So I'm trying to think of the way we could do this. We could just change these meshes and uh, yeah, you know what, why not? Let's just do it that way, I guess. I guess we can do it that way. It's kind of a silly way, but actually, you know what? Let's let's not do it that way. Let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. We're not going to do it that way. So, <clears throat> okay. So we're going to do a custom. Sorry about this. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. So custom event set weapon. And I think we need to check if using motion controllers is true. Okay, so using motion controllers. Okay, so 
Right. What we're going to do is Hmm. <laughs> okay, so right. If we're using the most controllers, we will attach this. Okay, so we're gonna set we're gonna allow the class to be set here. Whoops, okay, so base weapon. Get the class. New weapon. And uh, we'll spawn, add, no, how do we want to do this? Add child actor component. And uh, right, so. Attach to component. Nope, wrong one. Attach to component. Select using motion controllers. If it's true, if we are using motion controllers, then we want to give it PR gun. Otherwise, we want to get FPS gun. And make this okay, and then we'll set child actor class. Connect this, and uh, so we want to make these all just hidden in game or just not visible. So, visible, no, visible, no. Uh, now on begin, okay, so we'll go to our, oh, we already set up the weapon, so, on begin play, we will set weapon to base weapon, I'll save, I'll save, now let's, uh, Copy this stuff. Go to our weapons folder, base weapon. We'll do custom event, fire. Get the muzzle transform, get transform. And uh, the instigator will need to do get parent, or sorry, get parent actor, cast to pawn. We'll right click this and convert to pure so we get just the reference we don't need the uh, line it can just be pure and uh, sit there now we'll also set the weapon mesh to not have collision oh it's already set to that way so that's fine so let's see if this this works right away I don't think it will right it kind of is but uh, we can't see the mesh Right, no, it's not working. It's because it's it's already set the over here. So we're gonna get rid of this. Get actor class. Get child actor. Get actor class. What was it? Get child actor. Right. Cast to base weapon. We'll promote this to a variable. Current weapon. Um, now we're going to check if this is valid. It is valid when we set weapon. And if it is valid, we'll destroy the component. Destroy actor, I guess it's fine. <clears throat> Otherwise, we'll just do this. K. 
Okay. Right. Keep world. Or what? Snap to target for location. For rotation, snap to target. To scale, keep world. Right. Okay. Now, current weapon. Fire. Okay. So the f weapon isn't being set. Let's find out why. <laughs> oh, right. The. So if using motion controllers is false. Right, so we don't even want that. We don't need that. Because we're just choosing to attach it, so that's fine. Except it's still not working, isn't it? Okay. Why are you not working? <laughs> okay. Try it this way, I guess. I swear these errors always happen when I make these videos. Whenever I'm doing this prototyping, it just works. <sighs> uh, why is this not working? So it's it's working. It's, I've done this so many times. I don't understand. Don't understand at all. Is the stupid weapon falling? Is that what it is? Can't be something that stupid. No, it's not. It's not being set because I'm getting errors. Why is. Why am I getting errors? It's not even failing the cast, so why is it. What? Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Sorry, my bad. So they're right. I don't know how I didn't see that. Okay, that was a waste of time. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, so off head mounted display. If that's not, we want to set the weapon. Well, we want to set it either way. So you know what? We'll just set it at the front. Should have noticed that at the start. My bad. Okay, set weapon. Now let's make sure that we have it set right over here. Okay, better. But we want to uh, do this if it's not using motion controllers, and if it is. Um, let's try doing this again. Manual attachment. So we'll snap to target. And it looks like it's rotating wrong, so let's just rotate this again. All right, there we go. It's a bit large, so we'll uh, reduce its size a bit. <clears throat> 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0.75. Okay, so we got that going now. Now the start video is starting to get long. I apologize for the uh, for the error, but. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video where we'll make it so we can have different weapons and buy different weapons.